this week in the weird news. A joyous occasion, my friends. We have a new planet! Maybe. Probably. It's possible. With more on this story, our resident science jerk, Dave and Chan. Orbital Pluto has finally got some company. We now have two confirmed dwarf planets orbiting the sun even further out than the former ninth planet. Along with Sedna, we'd like to welcome VP-113 to the family. VP-113 is a dusty little ice ball that at its closest gets about 80 AUs from the sun. One astronomical unit is the distance from the Earth to the sun, or about 93 million miles. And is about 300 miles wide. In layman's terms, that's about three-fifths the Indy 500. Even more exciting, though, is that it's circumstantial evidence for a genuine ninth planet somewhere beyond Pluto, possibly affecting objects in the Oort cloud, which when flung towards the inner solar system, become comets, a.k.a. dinosaur killers. We don't even have soft evidence for our mystery planet yet, but we still feel it's important to name it before some fuddy-duddy scientists call it something like VP-113. Suggestions for the planet, a shadowy and dark version of the Earth, include Nemesis, Nega Earth, and Al Jolson. An unseen force that wreaks untold damage might also be called Ninja, Call of Duty Black Ops, or your crazy ex's daddy issues. And there's some speculation that it could be as much as 10 times the size of Earth, so maybe we'll just call it Husky, or Fatty, or Count Fatula, Lardass, Chubbo, Chan, you fat fuck. Mr. Chan, rubber band, suck your dicky if you can. Hey, all right. Yeah! <laughs> Don't touch me! For more information, Google VP113. And remember, folks, for more weird news, head over to sandproof.tv slash weird news. And for more fat science, head over to sciencejerks.com. Stay strong. Stay weird. Stay fat! I mean science. Fatty boom batty. Fatty fatty two by four. Chunk style. Wide load. <laughs> <laughs>